So in this spot, right, when I decide I'm gonna pin his bottom leg with my top leg, I wanna make sure that I do a couple of things exactly. Number one, I want my ankle at the crook of his knee. And I want my knee pointed out sideways, not toward his chest. Because when I try and pressure him this way, you meet all the resistance of both of his limbs and his shin and knee. So what I'm really going to do is cut my knee this way in line with the direction of his shin. So foot starts here. Your other leg can be out for like a post, and this is fine. You can have it a little closer, it feels better for you. Really your own balancing preference here. But you need to have some kind of post so you don't just get pushed over. So you're gonna start this by just leaning forward until you meet the resistance because if he lets, lets me grab him, I'll just crush him. So uh, there's always gonna be some kind of pushing going on here. So your hand is just gonna grab the shoulder. This is really all you need. Obviously it would be better if I could get a nice underhook and great grip like this. But we'll assume that's not happening on most good people so you're settling for this. So once you're here, you're gonna surf your knee, again, the direction of his shin, so that way, toward Fateo. So once you're here, you're gonna drop your hip and you're gonna surf. But if you stop here and try and land on the side, he just easily recovers, like you really can't hold him there. So once you get to this point, you need to continue all the way to this side and basically try and get the back exposure if he stays this way or just so far away that he can't easily recover. So that again, knee cut position, foot goes to the knee, I start here. When I decide to go, I cut and I run all the way around him. That way you don't get immediately thrown off of him. And again, here, I'm happy to take the back, I'm happy to take the side. You guys got it? Here we go, one, two, three.